we are once again with the disgraceful Lights of America Life Light, more like trash light Disgusting fixture It's so bad, my camera doesn't even want to focus on it Here is are the two that have died at the hands of this evil thing It has killed them One of their filaments on either side Have been broken The bulbs have suffered all of their life In this poor Very sad fixture And I'm gonna show you how it works Our, um, our next victim will be the other Salvania Daylight Deluxe Bulb, the last one I have, so operation of this thing will be minimal For obvious reasons because I still want to have a daylight bulb um, Yeah, it's this one so We'll take one of these bulbs out because This thing needs to remember what it has done To my poor light bulbs. I actually kind of like these things and I'm still keeping these. I'm keeping these as a reminder to all who dare use this fixture. If you will waste your money. Oh, I got scared by that. I was not expecting that. I thought I turned the power off. Um, yeah, here it is in action. Wow, look at how dim the bulb is. Look at how dim the bulb is. This is sad. Okay, look at this bulb. And now look at this one. It's ten times brighter. With the loud, idiotic ballasts of this thing. The ballasts are similar to the Lights of America ballasts that were in the other fixtures. Pretty much all the Lights of America ballasts look like this. Um, so now we'll take this tube out here too, and I'll show you how this thing works. So, first, in order to get behind the device which is able to absolutely destroy flu these fluorescent tubes, you must get in here. It is under here, which all of the destruction is caused by and I have to, it's really hard to get this piece off conveniently so I have to pause the camera now that our cover is up with the help of that we can now raise our metal sheet metal thing careful you don't cut your hand because it's not post at all here is the device that causes all of that destruction this thing right here this stupid little thing now, I'm not so sure how the wiring on this thing works, but I think, um... Let's see, I think if this were a regular fluorescent light, this would be the starter right here. So, I may just cut these two wires, hook up a starter, and see what happens. I mean, what's the worst? The worst thing that could happen is the ballast were to blow up. But then, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much trash anyway. So... Yeah, here it is. Here are the little cheap ballast things. I can pull that open and you can see in there. It's incredibly cheap, this stuff. I think I might actually be able to um, pull it forward, but okay. See, there you go. It's not It's not even like a... Um, it's not even like an instant on fixture, because it does stuff like that. I wonder if I tap this. That's still staying on. Well, that, that causes all of the destruction on this tube. I think if I were to trim these two wires, it'll work better. I'll do that in a separate video, because I'm, I'm not going to do that now. But, yeah. That's what causes all of this. I'm pretty sure it's just like a tiny, itsy-bitsy circuit board. Oh, God, there's more holes if you wanted to add more lamps. That is awful. 
But I'll see if I can take that apart and I will come back. I'll come back when this whole thing is all taken apart. Alright, now that this is all taken apart, all you really have to do is just pull on this thing and it slides forward. Let's take a look at our ballast, which is um not looking too good. It's all black. <laughs> and that's copper, so... And I shouldn't touch that, because it's got, like, some sort of weird thing on it. In my video, I was partially right. We have a capacitor down there, and a resistor across it to discharge it. Um, let's see how all this works. So our black wire comes into one side of the ballast. So this is the side coming to the lamp, so... Let's think. So this goes straight to that lamp. This goes to the ballast. That goes down there. And that's wired to the capacitor. This makes no sense. I need a wiring diagram for this thing if I ever want to do much with it. But, yeah, there you go. It's, it's really weird. So I assume black is hot. And red is um, neutral. I have no idea. So that would mean that our hot wire comes in, goes to one output, in, goes to the input of the ballast. The output is wired to this capacitor, which then is wired to that side of the lamp, which this side then goes back into there. I guess the capacitor must be there for power factor correction. That's all I can assume. So one side of each of these lamps is connected to the ballast. Well, one side is connected here. So let's see, this is the side coming in. Yes, I think if I can get a starter, get a starter, some sort of device in here for this side, I think we might be good. What I wonder is if this this side right here has its own driving circuitry. We can try and find out. I mean, it's just kind of real simple. All you have to do is just push back on this thing. And then you kind of pull forward on this one. I don't think this one's going to come out. But it looks like it's already like pulling out. Right, maybe I could just pull the entire end off the fixture. But yeah, this thing is awful. Let's see if I turn it on with no lamp. Does it make any noise? Oh, I can't tell. Well, I guess the lamp must have yeah must make a connection. Because I know the um, the rapid start fixture I have, that vintage 1950s GE bathroom vanity light, that's rapid start. And the ballast, I've, I've tried putting those bulbs in it, because I mistaked it for um, an electronic ballast, because I know that um, you can get a little bit of life out of bulbs that are dead like that in electronically ballasted fixtures. I guess it wasn't rapid start, because I thought it was rapid start, and I tried using the bulb, and it didn't do anything. So let's um, push our wires back, and I put tape here in an attempt to just make this, fix the organization on this thing, so these wires wouldn't get pinched by the metal sides. However, I don't, uh, let's just see, let's try, put that there. Let's try and just tape it down like that. Yeah, I think that might be good. Now I have to be careful with this plate that you don't push it down too far. There's a groove right there, and you want to get this little notch right here in that groove. Otherwise, it's really hard to take out, and you have to use something like that to pull it out. So let's try... Yeah, I think I got that side in. Let's be careful not to push it down all the way. Let's just check spacing. Ah, it just came out. 
This thing is built so cheaply, I hate it. And then you just go like that all the way down. And boom, boom. And you go on both sides. And then you can take your light right here. And then you know. And then you can take your light and then just stick it in this horrible thing. If it'll even go in. It's stuck. Yeah, there you go. Take your light bulb in and then you can... Wow. And then watch it get destroyed right before your eyes. There you go. I'm about done with this thing.